Welcome to season 2, episode 1 of your darling program, Chitayas World. A program designed for gospel music and hymn writers. And so, I'm welcoming you to another fresh episode of the program. Eko Jumo, Eka Rosa Jidao. Okpefe Dwaoke, Tio Jakari Dagiri Oganjao, Ato Dukwe Tone, Agbapa Woshegbe, Asanse Wose Sanwo, Anya Ato Soro, Okanhan Watotu, All praise to the giver of life, in whom there is no variableness, nor a shadow of turning. Anywhere you are hearing my voice across the globe, we are live from Parrot FM, frequency modulation band 101.1 MHz. And we are online, parrot1011.com. The program is fully sponsored by Jitaya Music Production, North Carolina, USA. I am Dele Ogontola Yohankoman. Good morning. Blessed be the Lord, my rock and my strength. Who cheated my hands to work? Okay, let us proceed to the first segment of the program. This is my story. My name is Henry Williams Baker. I was born into a prominent family in London, England, in 1821. My father was a vice admiral in the British Navy and a baronet. After graduating from Trinity College of Cambridge University, I became vicar of Monkland and remained in that church all my life. I was very interested in music and was appointed as chairman of the editorial committee that produced Eames, Ancient and Modern. And for 20 years, I supervised the later editions to ensure that the poetry of all the hymn texts included in hymns, ancient and modern should be worthy offerings to God. I altered many of the texts submitted. Some critical clergymen stated that Ham, that is hymns, ancient and moderns, really meant hymns acquired and mutilated. Many of my hymns were written to provide a hymn test appropriate for the Bible test prescribed for a Sunday of the church year followed by the Anglican Church. My best and most widely used hymn is The King of Love, My Shepherd His, based on Psalm 23. The Anglican Church has never officially adopted any hymna, but hymns ancient and modern is the accepted hymna of the Anglican Church, and it is used as the standard format, which all subsequent editors of hymn books have followed. The 1875 edition is considered the greatest hymna ever produced. I died at my home in Monkland in 1877, at the age of 55. This is my story. Hmm, Henry Williams Baker. He was not too old when he died, but despite that, we have records of him, of how he works wholeheartedly in God's vineyard. Sir Henry Baker held the doctrine of the celibacy of the clergy, and at his death, the baronetcy devolved on a kinsman. He was the author of daily prayers for the use of those who have to work hard, as well as of a daily test book for the same class, and of some tracts on religious subjects. He died on Monday, 12th of February, 1877, aged 55, at the vicarage of Monkland, and was buried in the churchyard of the parish. His last words were from his hymn, The King of Love, My Shepherd Is. This is my story. Ah, Jitayas World, a word of music. Let us now sit back to enjoy the music of the day for today. May we be richly blessed as we listen. Oh my God. as holy as you are, we bless your name, we magnify, oh Lord, in our life, in our life, oh Lord, you are so amazing, we bow down before your throne, melody in our hearts. Oh, yeah. 
Friends and friends all over the world, we are sincerely grateful for your responses received so far on our platforms at Digital Music Production. Uh, this is to notify you that all Ulua Kande's songs can be downloaded on all digital platforms, iTunes, Boomplay, and others. Kindly follow Ulua Kande on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, mainly on all our social media platforms. Subscribe to our YouTube channels. We have interesting and soul lifting clips for you. Have you a subscriber? At Olu Akande's YouTube. I'm happy to give you the full detail of the forthcoming program on December 4, 2020. The program is tagged Rehobot, Rehobot 2020. It's going to be a night of worship, Ogumasho Night of Worship. The venue of the program is Jesus House International Church, number one, Williams or Jadidon Street, Bakwa Lajiki Ogumasho. We're going to start the program by 10 p.m., so save the date, Friday, 4th of December 2020. I'm Arichi Nyo, uh, the CEO of GTA Music Production, North Carolina, USA, will be leading his team to Bumasho, Nigeria, for the program. By God's grace, we're going to meet them there. Our daddy, Pastor Lou Victor, will be the host, while Pastor Tokwe Olatoye and Pastor Shenwa Bayomi will co-host the program. We'll be expecting also Top Grace, Pastor Adioluwa Debite, Dami Goyi, and Pastor Blessing Anyani Yola. Oh my loud gun, oh my loud gun. We will surely sort of okay. Eh, we will sort of okay. On that day, God will be on us okay as we praise the Lord and as we worship Him. Amen. All right, let us listen to the word for the week from the CEO, Jitayo Music Production, North Carolina, USA. Good day, my brother and sister. My name is Olua Konde, and thanks you today for joining us on this program. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the last uh, 13 episode on season one. Uh, today is the first episode on season two, and I pray you be blessed in Jesus' name. I'm reading from uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 24, 25, Luke chapter 6, verse 38. There is that scatter and yet increase, and there is that will old more than is meat, but it tended to poverty. 
the verse 25 says the liver's soul shall be made fat and he that watereth shall be watered also just for some reference make sure you read uh, Luke chapter 6 verse 38 all right so many people have failed to realize that giving is for the benefit of giver and not for the receiver whatever you give has left your hand but can never live your life because you will definitely receive its reward let's remember solomon gave generously and got the reward at the open ceremony of the temple he built for the lord he offered thousands of ram so much that he attracted girls attention take note he built temple for the lord and he offered thousands of ram that got god's attention God appeared to Solomon and asked him to make a request because of that. He made only a request for wisdom. And in addition, God gave him understanding, wealth, peace, and other blessings. Solomon was honored and people came from far places to give him gifts for the wisdom. It was recorded in the Bible that Solomon never went to a war, right? Never take any opportunity to give to God or to a man for granted because you are simply loading your life with blessing while you do. Let me say that again. Never take any opportunity to give to God or to man for granted because you are simply loading your life with blessing while you are giving. When it rains, it will rain abundance of blessing upon you. Solomon gave the offering and received favor from God. Let's learn from Solomon today. Giving to God is unlimited outside material items. You give praises, worship to God, be thankful all the time, give to neighbors, and share love of God. When you do this, you are building temple of praise and sacrifice of worship to God. Building temple for God is our topic for today. How are you building your temple for God? How are you building temple for God? What is your request? Have you given to God to get his attention? For God to arise in his throne and say, Son, what do you want? Remember, give it shall be given unto you. Overflowing. So, I advise you today to give something tangible to God. Give thanks to God. Praise God every moment. And let's see. My God, we arise in his throne and ask you, Son, you've praised me enough. The aroma of your worship has come to me. What do you need? And I bless God for your life and I say it is well with everyone listening to this message in Jesus' name. Make that sacrifice to God and let's see what the miracle that will follow. Stay blessed this week. I'll see you next week for the next episode. Bye. All right, that's the word for the week. Do join us next week for another fresh episode and an interesting episode of the program. Feel us back on WhatsApp, plus one, two, three, one, six, two, oh, four, two, oh, eight. Plus one, two, three, one, six, two, oh, four, two, oh, eight. That's all for today on the program, GTRS World. I am Dele Ogontola, your anchor man. So, stay blessed. Love you. Thanks to the DCA. God bless you. And uh, Tunde Ojo, my fine boy, no pimples. Till we meet next week on the program, Detail's World. God bless you. you